Sukai Todd's thoughts. As always, these are my purely subjective thoughts. Take what you want, leave the rest, and play nice in the comments as the comments are strictly moderated. Okay? Okay. Also, if you hate twice, you might hate this video, so please exit now if you hate twice. Thank you! Also, as always, all rights to the original owners of this content that will be shown in this video. Okay. So this is kind of a hashtag 3am, well, 2am thoughts kind of thing. And what I'm talking about is the idea of one spark and how it relates to my interpretation of Twice as One Spark song. And it's not really about the music or critiquing it. I do have some critiques with um, Twice's music, but this is not really about Twice specifically, but more about the kind of abstract ideas they presented in One Spark, in my opinion. The ideas are slightly abstract and kind of nebulous in some ways, although it's clear it's a love song, it's not super clear. <laughs> so that's the beauty of music is that it's, you know, open to interpretation. Also, G Hill, my god. Anyway, <laughs> and Momo and all nine members of Twice. Anyway, um, but my my thoughts are when it comes to the idea of having an eternal spark in oneself and i've thought about this for a long time because i used to be a christian so just keep that in mind but um my thing is is that i feel like we all have one spark in us somewhere we all have a spark inside of us that just makes us not every single person but i think every person has the potential to have one spark inside of them there's like a chance that we can all find an eternal flame within us that helps us sparkle beautifully i know i'm getting deep i'm sorry <laughs> but i just think that in the world we're living in now we're about to get philosophical folks um in the world we're living in now it's like we need to have some fire in us, so to speak. We need to have something, some, uh, uh what is it Napoleon Hill said? Definite of purpose. Definiteness of purpose. That's what he said in the Interviewing the Devil book. Um, or Outwitting the Devil. Great book, by the way. Definitely recommend it. But, um, my thing is, we all need that one spark inside of us that no matter what happens it can't get dimmed whether it's this deconstruction of faith within oneself or within one's religion hi or it's just being traumatized so much that you don't really know where to go or who to believe in i'm about to say the most hated cliche of all so just brace yourself i believe that we have to believe in ourselves i know so freaking cliche like don't you don't have to tell me, I know. But the key is that if we can find that, turn that pain, transform that pain into that fire to make us burn brighter and find our beautiful shining light within that pain, if I'm making sense at all, <laughs> then we can use it to burn brighter and shine brighter and become stronger versions of ourselves. And I feel like that's what Twice's song one spark in particular has shown me even without believing in a male deity known as god which i personally s do not believe in a male deity especially in our society today but say what you will about that but i do believe that as long as you believe in yourself because ultimately in my perspective you're the only one who's going to be with you forever like i'm not saying that 
it counts to all people, but, you know, because girl groups and boy groups and such, that's a totally different thing within the K-pop company sphere. That's a whole different discussion for a different day. But my thing is, is that we can, we are ultimately the only people we are born with and we die with. I hope that we all have loved ones that we can pass, you know, have when we pass, obviously, but it's not true for all of us. So my thing is, I hope that with this video, you can find that one spark within yourself, maybe, to realize that you're not, you're not alone. As fucking cliche as that sounds, pardon my French. You're not alone. You're allowed to enjoy some cute pop pee, spicy music if you want to. Nobody's, nobody on my channel better not judge you. <laughs> nobody on this channel better judge you for that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they will be blocked. But my point is, is that we all have to find that spark within ourselves, and even in this effed up world we're in. I think if we find that one spark and let it drive us, let it become that eternal flame, it will help us with our definis definiteness of purpose to shine so much brighter and to find happiness within ourselves and ultimately better our relationship with others. I don't know if this is even making sense and I have a feeling Chojimi, he's a great um, K-tuber, probably has a much better way of explaining any of this so I'm going to tag his channel in the description. Go watch him, he's a better one than me. <laughs> but um, shout out to Chojimi. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's, it's the hope that we can all find the spark within ourselves, that one spark. Because I've been through enough traumatic events in my life, just like a lot of people, to know that sometimes one spark is all we have left. When all the lights go out in our lives emotionally through trauma and spiritually through painful experiences, if we can just find that one spark that'll keep us going, then we can do it. We can shine beautifully and eternally in our hearts. We can leave a legacy for those who care about us, whether or not we have children or families, you know, in our own future. Because I'm not being a children to biological children, whatever the hell that means. I'm going to be a furry mom. By furry, I mean puppy and kitty. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope we all find that spark and we all believe in ourselves, that we can use our one spark, that burning pain to turn us into bright lights for each other, and we can ultimately brighten everyone else's day, including our own, and especially our own. So, that's all I really have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Nantarangye, I love you for watching this far, and if you watched it this long. And uh, thank you for watching. These are always, as always, just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on the somewhat philosophical ideas I brought up? Don't tell me believing in oneself is cliche. I know. <laughs> okay, I already know that. You don't have to tell me that. Trust me. <laughs> but just, just let's converse in a healthy, respectful manner about what it means to believe in oneself and what one spark means to us. And if for you it's simply a great twice song, we need more of it, then by all means. I'm not judging. But as always, thanks for watching. This has been Sukai Todd. Bye. Don't lose the spark, baby.